In this video lesson, we are going to explore palpation of the gluteus medius and deeper gluteus minimus muscles on the right side of the body. Our client Justin is lying on his left side, so we are palpating the side that is oriented toward the ceiling, his right side here. Now you have to have the client appropriately draped for this type of palpation, or perhaps you can palpate through their clothing. Uh, what we're going to look to do first is we need to know what the extent of the attachments are for the larger gluteus medius. And it attaches on the pretty much just inferior to the entire iliac crest from the PSIS, posterior superior iliac spine, all along this iliac crest, to the ASIS, which is a bit out of view for the camera, the anterior superior iliac spine here. So it's this entire area here in the external ilium just below the iliac crest. Gluteus minimus is about halfway down, about halfway down that external surface of the ilium. Both medius and underlying minimus attach down, and let's just find it here, on the lateral surface of the greater trochanter of the femur. Now, I like to call the gluteus medius, and we can say the same thing for minimus, that the medius is the deltoid of the hip joint. The same way that the deltoid has middle fibers, posterior fibers, and anterior fibers that move the arm at the shoulder joint, the medius and minimus have middle fibers, posterior fibers, and anterior fibers that move the thigh at the hip joint. And the actions are identical at the hip joint as deltoid has at the shoulder joint for moving open chain, the more distal attachment, arm here, thigh here. Now, people very often think of the gluteus maximus as covering the entire buttock of big superficial muscle, and it is the largest one muscle in the human body, but the maximus runs at a diagonal like this, and much of the gluteus medius is superficial in a triangular area here between maximus and on the anterior side, tensor fascia lati, TFL. So we will begin with palpation of the middle fibers. Here is the iliac crest, dead center in the midline of his body, and I drop just inferior off of it. I should be on gluteus medius, deep to, of course, skin and superficial fascia. And now I want him to engage the gluteus medius. Now, all fibers of medius and minimus can do ab, abduction of the thigh at the hip joint. Even though the posterior fibers can do extension and lateral rotation, and the anterior fibers can do flexion and medial rotation, they all can do abduction. So I'm going to use that for the entire muscle. So, Justin, I'd like, like you to lift your thigh up in the air toward the ceiling. And you can see my fingers being pushed out. Relax. Soft. Lift up, abduct, hard. Excellent, relax. So I can palpate and know that I'm on gluteus medius by confirming that I'm on tissue that does that joint action. I can move a baby step, lift up, and it's there, relax. Move a baby step, lift up, relax, there. Now, once you become more skilled at palpation and you know anatomy better, sometimes you really don't need to confirm a muscle's location by joint action engagement because you know that that's the only muscle that's in that area. And I know between glute max and TFL, there is only gluteus medius here. So I don't really have to do that, but we can, especially when we're first learning. And I can go right down until we get to that greater trochanter and right at the edge of the tro trochanter here, lift up, and relax would be the tendinous fibers of middle gluteus medius and deeper minimus, right over in here. And in fact, I can feel he's a bit tight there. And the way you make an assessment with a palpation protocol as to whether a muscle is tight, hypertonic, you know, overly contracted, overly soft, you know, hypotonic, uh, taut and tender fibers, fibrous adhesions, trigger points, is based on palpating it when they're relaxed when it's at baseline tone. So we only use the engagement to discern the borders. So I can go now more toward posterior gluteus medius minimus. So I went a baby step back posteriorly, lift up, definitely tissue there, relax. Again, there, relax. Now right over here, I'm starting to feel like a little shelf in here. And this is where the medius is starting to go deep to the gluteus maximus, lift up. And I feel contraction, relax. I'm going to go past it, lift up, and I feel contraction. Not as much, but I do, relax. That's because the gluteus maximus is also a lateral rotator. So usually it's better 
to discern maximus from medius posterior border back here when the muscles are relaxed and feeling for contour. The deepest, most posterior fibers of medius and minimus are deep to glute max. So it can be very challenging to discern minimus through medius through maximus back here, but where we have a triangular superficial exposure, that's very simple for medius. Minimus compared to medius, you have to feel in when they're relaxed to feel if you can feel that whatever trigger point you feel or whatever it is you feel is deeper in the tissue or not. But really from a practical point of view, a functional point of view, it's somewhat irrelevant whether it's medius or minimus. You can pretty much view them as one muscle. The anterior fibers of minimus have a little more of a horizontal line to them so they're better at medial rotation, but otherwise these guys do the same joint actions. Now if I come for anterior fibers, I'll move more anterior, abduct, and I feel contraction, relax, and I come even more anterior, lift up, engagement, relax, so I'm definitely on anterior fibers of medius, minimus, but now I'm starting to feel a shelf here, and that's because I'm getting to tensor fascia lati. The challenge here is the tensor fascia lati flexes, medially rotates, and abducts the thigh at the hip joint. The anterior fibers of gluteus medius and minimus flex, medially rotate, and abduct the thigh at the hip joint. So they have identical actions. So when the medius and minimus go deep to TFL, it's pretty much impossible to really discern medius and minimus from the TFL, but you can certainly easily palpate the medius minimus separate from TFL up until they meet each other. So this is the idea for palpation of gluteus medius and the underlying minimus is we use abduction, abduction of the thigh at the hip joint with the client side lying and the side we're working on, in this case the right side, oriented up toward the ceiling.